Okay folks, you find me here at the Swanee Ponds. I'm here to investigate the red algae that's seemingly been uh, growing on the water here. But so far, I can't actually see any red algae at all. They say it's something to do with the decomposing bread and a lot of bird uh, sort of waste. I can't actually see it unless that's it in the middle of the pond just over there but I was expecting it to be sort of bright red almost but so far no signs at all folks. Very disappointing I must say. Yeah I can't see any unless that's it in the in the middle there maybe folks I don't know. Let's have a zoom in. Maybe that in the middle maybe. And I think this could possibly be the uh, sort of some of it here really it's just like this horrific cloudy kind of colour. Ah well I think I was looking in the wrong pond. There's one there. There's another one here. Now this looks more sort of like it. There's lots of um, sort of algae on the on the surface here. Let's go and uh, have a look at this one, especially away over that way. So I'm going to walk all the way around it, folks. And uh, oh yeah, I can see the sort of red stuff over there. Right, excellent. We're back on track. Spiz are now going to investigate. Oh, look at the cute little ducklings. Oh, look at them. Wow. <laughs> excellent. Someone's making a funny noise. So I'm really here in the uh, spiz capacity, folks. That's uh, spiz. But uh, oh, I've dropped the spiz badge. Oh, that was almost a disaster. It was almost in the water there. <laughs> yeah. So they reckon it's uh, been caused by bacteria coming from bird um, guano, basically, and decomposing bread. There's also a lot of rubbish in there. Cigarette ends, bags, all that kind of usual detrius or detrius, whatever you call it just been thrown in the Swanee Ponds. It's a beautiful area, uh, well it used to be, and on the island there we have uh, swans nesting all the time, that's why it's called the Swanee Ponds. I think the real name is, um, what is the real name? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, look at this. So, we're doing this as a jag lives and also as a spiz, so I'm now gonna to turn to the spiz and do a spiz whiz right now. Um, it does look a little bit unsightly folks, I must say. I'd love to just scoop my hand in there and quick out a big wad of it and see what it's like, but it's meant to be sort of poisonous. They've taken samples and they're going to tell us what exactly it is. Is there a threat to the wildlife here? We're not too sure. As you can see there are plenty of ducks still uh, wallowing around in the middle of the lake there. But it is just Horrific looking, I must say. Look, it's like you could actually jump on that. It looks so solid. Look at it. 
But um, yeah, red algae. Wow. Well, there's loads of it here. Crikey. It reminds me of the film, The War of the Worlds, you know, the, the red algae plants creeping around the place. But yeah, it's going all the way around. There's loads of it. Crikey. It just seems to be clinging, clinging to the edge here of the pond. It hasn't really sort of spread out that way yet, but they don't know how far it's going to spread or whether it's going to take over. Is it, um, is it, uh, uh, what do you call it, a, a vicious sort of algae? Is it going to be dangerous to the rest of the wildlife here? Is it going to take over? Is it a parasite? We don't really know. But um, yeah, the swans just sort of breed over here on the island there. The water is actually pretty still as well, which is part of the cause of it. Seemingly the underflow on the pond is okay, but it's on the top where it seems to be stagnant. And uh, you can see the water moving there, but I think that's just the wind rippling the, uh, the surface. But yeah, I mean, you can see the sort of the, the algae, the normal algae, sort of the green normal pond sort of stuff. And then it just turns this red color as you go sort of there, look. Now in the better weather, they normally have boats um, going on here. So it's actually quite shallow, maybe just a, a foot or so deep. And there's just not a lot of movement at all on the water which they reckon has caused a lot of the stagnation. So you can see it sort of, it seems to be blowing in from this sort of direction. There's a lot of shrubs over that way. Maybe something's blowing from them, coming into the water here and just sort of going that way. If you know what I mean, it doesn't seem to be going this way. It seems to be going that way. Um, yeah, here's some, here's some more. It's like a, an oil slick or something almost, isn't it? I think I've spotted a, is that a carcass there? Is that a dead bird or is it a bag? I don't know. Any swans there today? Some, some more. You can see this one's kind of just flecked with it. That really does look disgusting, I must say. Right folks, I'm going to actually sacrifice a spiz card and we're going to go for a, a little scoop in the water, see what it's actually like. Oh, dead scummy. Oh. So totally fascinating folks. Nature once again at its uh, at its peak, just doing what nature does. There's no way we can fight this. I don't know what they're going to do about it, but uh, it does look rather unsightly. We don't know whether it's dangerous yet. So in the meantime, I suppose this area is going to be a kind of like a no-go, and just for the summer coming up as well. Probably got something to do with the, the heat. Maybe seems to be uh, you know boiling it up a wee bit. And, making it, you know what heat does, heat seems to act as a catalyst and uh, get these things going kind of thing. So anyway, nature definitely rules man, doesn't it? There we go. This is Jag Betty, reporting for Jag Lives and also for Spears. Thank you. I found a stick. It's too much temptation. I have to have a have a quick around in here, see what it's like. You're watching. Oh. Duck's making a funny noise. 
about to tag me. Uh -huh. It looks like uh, barbecue sauce. Mm. And just a quick bit at the end of the video here. This is um, the famous Boatine Lake. This is the one where they use all the uh, the battleships and everything going. So Grandad is an old man. You would love it here. Look, they've got a, a dedicated deck. Great vista there. And they sail them all the way around there. So maybe one Sunday I'll come up here when they are actually out here. The boat club comes out every now and again. But as you can see, great area for your Grandad. If you were here, look, brilliant. And it's just up the road from where I live.